Hello everyone and thank you for watching another video brought to you by International Key Supply. In this video we're going to show you a new product from X-Horse. This is their Keyless to Go watch. And so what this watch does is it allows you to configure it and it can be the equivalent of any X-Horse universal prox key. And then once you have configured this with your Key Tool Plus or Key Tool Max or even your mini key tool, you can then take and program this watch to a compatible proximity or push to start vehicle. So this watch comes in a nice box from X-Horse with some good operating instructions. The operating instructions, you know, detail the care and use of this watch. It doesn't really uh, dig into the programming and configuration, but basically this watch configures the same way that any X-Horse universal proximity key would. You pick the FCC ID or the remote or even by year, make, and model, depends on how you want. And then you write that configuration to this watch, and then you take the watch and you program it to the vehicle using whatever OBD2 key programming device you want. And uh, so this watch has the proximity transmitter built in. It also obviously tells time, and uh, this watch here has buttons on the side that can be used for lock and unlock and trunk. And uh, what we'll do is we'll configure this and program it today to a 2021 Chrysler 300. So what we're going to do is set up a little bit different camera angle so we can show you how to configure the watch. And then uh, we'll do one more set change and we'll show you programming this watch to the vehicle and operation of the watch. Okay, so here we have the Keyless to Go watch by X-Horse. We have it inserted into our Key Tool Plus, and like I mentioned before, you could use your Key Tool Max or Mini Key Tool to do the same job. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Remote Program, and then we're going to go to North America, and we're going to go to Chrysler, and we're going to go to All Remotes. Now, uh, you could do this multiple ways. In this particular case, we know that uh, the 2021 Chrysler 300 that we're working with utilizes this prox key. So we're going to choose it and we're going to click on generate. And again, we have the X horse key, this to go key there in the key tool plus. And we're going to go ahead and start the remote programming here. And you can see that it's going to progress through when it gets to hundred percent complete, we'll be done. And then what we can do is take this key and show you how to program it to the 2021 Chrysler 300 and also show you how it works with that vehicle once it is programmed. So this will take just a moment to finish this programming. And what I have found is if you experience a right field, the Key Tool Plus and the Key Tool Max and Key Tool Mini for that matter are a little bit sensitive about where this watch is placed. So what I have found is if you tell it to try again and you put a slight bit of down pressure on the watch like I am here, that usually takes care of this right error. So let's see, we'll go through this a second time and make sure that holds true. I think that the uh, slot that is built into these products doesn't quite fit this watch and that uh, this little slight bit of down pressure is enough to make the difference. Like I said, I found it a little bit sensitive as I was experimenting with this device before I started taking this video.
All right, and then there we have burn success. So we can go ahead and click on complete. And that will take us back to the previous menu. And then we can take this uh, keyless to go watch by X Horse. It's now configured and take it and use an OBD2 key programmer and program it to the 2021 Chrysler 300 that we're working with. Okay, so here we are in a 2021 Chrysler 300 and we have our Key Tool Plus hooked up to the vehicle. Uh, we also obviously in this vehicle have a Chrysler Dodge Jeep secure gateway bypass cable installed so that we can get around the gateway and do the programming that we need to do. So we're going to click on MO programming and we're going to select North America and we're going to select Chrysler and then we're going to select by model. And uh, it's interesting how this is a bit of a mistranslation. It says Asia, but uh, you just click on through Asia and you'll find what you want. So we're gonna go here for Chrysler 300 and we're gonna select uh, 2019 to 2021 smart key system. We're gonna get the prompting of what's gonna happen here and what order. And we're gonna say start programming. Uh, it's telling us to use the 12 plus eight adapter of which you can use the adapter that they sell that connects behind the radio. Uh, you can also use just a standard uh, brute force cable or uh, secure gateway bypass cable, depends on how you wanna call it. Click on okay. And this can, case, we're gonna check the key count here. See what we have. We have three keys programmed to this vehicle. And we already went ahead and read the pin code to save time. And so we're just going to go right to add smart key. It tells us turn the ignition off, which is the state that it's in. Turn the emergency flashers on, which they are on. Click OK. And it tells us that we're going to need the smart key in the vehicle that we want to program. Uh, the pin code for this car is 81383. OK. Now we're getting a prompt after clicking OK. Put the smart key to be programmed in front of the start button and click the unlock button twice within 60 seconds. So here we have the X Horse Keyless to Go remote uh, watch, excuse me. This is the unlock button. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And we're going to move up here to the push to start button. And we're going to click it twice. And we actually got a failed message here. Let's see if the watch actually works, the car. It does. So even though we got a failed message, the watch still works the car. That was the trunk. And if we want to start the car, we can apply a foot on the brake. We can set the watch down here so that you know it has proximity function. And we can start the car. Car off and again let me turn the emergency flashers off so you could see this maybe a little bit better and we are going to use the unlock there we go and I believe this one is the lock there's the lock and this one back here is the trunk and that is the X horse keyless to go watch programmed and configured with the key tool plus Again, we thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.